nice. Well, any any general comments or observations? Chris? Um, I thought that I thought it was great. The tempo was about what I probably what I anticip about what I anticipated. Um, uh, during the um, the middle section of the song, so after the second ending, where there's a lot of sixteenth notes, right. the part with a lot of accidentals, um, that um. Uh, let's see. There was that's that's kind of meant to be um, intense and loud, so you know a lot of fortissimos and that stuff. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I thought that was that's uh, supposed to have like um, with the. Do you want it loud right away at the mezzo forte? Uh, let's because see. mezzo forte is not quiet, no. but then you. No, that's forte. that 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 was good, except um, like right at measure forty six, mm -hmm. where I start. Where there's the. Uh, Descending yeah. scales, mm -hmm. that stuff. Um, that's uh, you know, that's that's gonna be very loud. And then, you know, the, and then with um, measure forty, measures forty eight, forty nine, and fifty, the um, the right hand is supposed to be kind of like an accent, and then the left hand is, the has the melody and it's, um, heavy and mm -hmm. you know, loud, and uh. And also the section um, measure from measure nine to measure from measure nine to measure sixteen. Um, that's supposed to be um, see the uh, uh, specifically measure measure eight the first two beats of that measure. The um, the notes are supposed to be held out, not quite um, not really staccato there. So, okay. And um, are you using, I'm assuming you're using the pedal throughout most of the song, correct? Uh, actually, not very much. And it's, it's sounding a little bit dry right now, so I might use more. I was surprised. Yes. A, little bit of, um, a little bit of pedal uh, is what I intended. Mm -hmm. Did you like yeah. the retard at the end? Yes, and I like the, um, I like the retards you put in towards the end of the song to kind of bring a closure to it, as well as the, um, as well as the one at the uh, measure, I think there was one measure 54 and 55. And I really mm -hmm. liked I really liked the retards you put there. That's okay. I'll the, I'll probably, yes, those are perfect. I'll probably notate those in my sheet music when I submit that for the IB. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, so one thing you might think about too, like some of the things you're saying are very helpful about the changes in articulation. Mm -hmm. The um, the good news is that you know the musical spirit is clear enough that it's pretty easy to kind of infer the kind of articulation you probably had in mind. But as you can tell, you know, not always. So what I would say is that, you know, so that was the good news. The bad news is that there's very little articulation information mm -hmm. that you give. Um, like now and then you do, and it's just right. Like in bar 21, where you say those two staccato. Right? That's all it takes, you know, just like, it's not like you have to write an essay about every measure, but these, yes. these little things are really, really helpful. So you've got dynamics, but very little information about the articulation. So that would help if you put that in and then. Okay. Then, then those things would be clearer. Perfect. Also, um, speaking of dynamics too, um, and Andy may have heard this too, I would, unless, unless you're passionately sure that it's exactly what you mean, like be, maybe because you're building up from a softer section to a louder section or something, I would generally avoid mezzo forte okay. because it's kind of like, well, I don't really know, you know, just do sort of whatever. Um, it's, it sort of has this, this kind of like, I couldn't really think of what I wanted dynamic uh, yes. feelings. That's about right. And when I'm looking at the whole piece, you know, I'm seeing what you don't really have, except again for that nice second theme. Otherwise, you don't really have quiet sections. So maybe when you say mezzo forte, what you really mean is mezzo piano or piano. Okay. And the loud sections that you want loud, I'll play them louder. Okay. <laughs> but it also sound louder because there's more of a contrast. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That that's a very good. So, so with that in mind, I'm, I'm gonna I'll do it again. I'll I'll play the soft section softer, the mezzo okay. forte section softer. And, and then you're free not to like that. You can say, no, nope, no, nope, that's not good. But, but let me try that now and, and um, make more of that change of articulation that you're talking about, too. OK, thank you. Anything else? Um, no, I thought everything else is yeah. very nice. Let me, one thing I'll do, too, a little bit is, is the beginning of the middle section. You didn't say to change the tempo, so I sort of, like, didn't. <laughs> I, I tried not to, try to sort of, you know, to be macho and just play what you said, but um, but I, even if I did it more elegantly than I did, you know, even if I nailed it, it seems to me like when you have this. Yes. Now the 
that sounds good actually this time. But it, it, I was wondering if it sounded a little too frantic, you know, or if, if you want that. I mean, I, I was kind of going for a fast driving. Okay, no, then I, then that I, part, so that was, that yeah, and that, that's where a little more information so you can help. Like if you said something like, you know, frantic or agitated. Okay, so if you or, like. And, then yeah. people are like, oh, so that's what you want, rather than, okay. gosh, that sounds busy. I wonder if I should, you know, slow down a little or something. Okay, thank you. Yeah, great. All right, so I'll, let me try it again. So, Nick, I don't know if I ever um, mentioned this to you in our, our kind of online communiques, but I started out with um, the music comp um, thing back when I was in high school as a student um, in, you know, in your role. Um, and so I went through this process for, I think, a good three years I, I did stuff. Um, and then through college, I kind of started transitioning into more of the role that I'm in today. Um, 
And I, I was just thinking about um, some of the things um, that David was saying about the, the articulations and the dynamics. Um, and I, I remember having those same issues when, when I was writing. And um, so correct me if I'm wrong, you're writing on Sibelius, I'm right? writing on Sibelius. On Sibelius. So the, the great thing about Sibelius is that it lets us express these ideas quickly, cleanly, you know, with us being able to hear it out loud, outside of our heads, fast, in a way that has never been possible, um, you know, before a decade or two ago, it, that sort of thing just wasn't around. The downside to that is that you can kind of put the cart ahead of the horse and start making things happen that, you know, sound okay on the computer, but that might not translate into real life as well. Now, I want to be clear, your piece is like really, really nice, I, I think. It's, it's playable, it has a character to it, it, it really is a, a nice work. Um, the things that are missing are just things that I would guess, I'm not saying this, you know, definitely, but I would guess are things that happen because you're letting the computer tell you what it sounds like rather than having it be the other way around. You know what I mean? Like, those things with dynamics, a lot of times, I, and I find this, like you, you would tell me when I was your student too, mezzo forte sounds nice on Sibelius. Whatever it is about Sibelius, it makes mezzo forte have kind of, it, I, I like the timbres that Sibelius uses at mezzo forte, so I'm a slave to mezzo forte when I'm listening to Sibelius. But then I remember, and you probably remember when I was here too, Sandy, the, the, the performers, every time they would say that same thing, mezzo forte <laughs> all through here, you know, what, what do I do with this? What does this mean? And that's the next step, is taking it from beyond writing for the computer and taking the idea in your head straight to the performer. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're in a great place. Your ideas are solid. The music sounds great. Now the next step is just going to be bypassing the computer and communicating directly to your performers. Thank you. Yeah, man. Okay. Nice okay. work. Really nice. Anything else, David? Yeah, actually, just, just I mean, what Andy said is great. It, it's like important to think of dynamics and articulation, not just like, like if, a word, if there were words we were talking about, it's not just phonetic. They're like concepts and ideas. So like in Fistabilis, it's like, what is, you know, forte sounds like? Well, it sounds better now. It sounds louder. But forte also means something like sort of expressively or emotionally. Yes. It's, it's more gesture. So yeah, to keep that in mind. Also, I just, I didn't mention this because, you know, it's sort of nitty gritty and we don't have, it's not very convenient by Skype. But take a look at, at bars 43 um, and 40, like just 41, 2, 3, 4. Just check all the dynamics. I made a couple of changes to make the left hand and the right hand agree that I'm guessing are what you meant. But just double check um, those. And, you know, I could be wrong. Yeah, you can almost not tell anyway. They go by so fast. Yeah. But just double, ch double check some of the, um, the accidentals. Excellent. Just okay. make sure they are what you want. Great. And yeah. anything else you want to say, Nick? Um, I thought it was amazing. Thank you. <laughs>